Jennifer Lopez stepped out in New York City on Thursday, showcasing her sophisticated street style. The 54-year-old hitmaker of Love Don't Cost a Thing wore a gray sweatpants and graphic T-shirt underneath her opulent cream fur coat to stay warm for the nighttime outing. The mother of two wore her massive gold earrings, white sneakers, and a white hat with her ensemble. The actress accessorized with a monogram JLO, Gucci, duffel, bag, and a tiny mint Valentino purse. She recently stunned everyone with her nipple bra in the Can't Get Enough remix video. The stunning woman highlighted her features with radiant cosmetics. Her hat served as a shield, drawing back her brunette locks. Earlier on Thursday, during a Netflix sizzle trailer showcasing their 2024 projects, the actress made her screen debut in the sci-fi adventure movie Atlas. Lopez took on new toned makeup and wore her hair in a shaggy, wavy style, all while sporting a black shirt. The native of the Bronx looked scared because everything seemed to be going terribly wrong. The main character of Atlas is an intelligent data analyst who has a strong mistrust of AI. She enlists in a mission to apprehend a rogue robot with whom she has a strange past. She appears in the Brad Payton and Aaron Eli Colite film as Sai Mulu, Abraham Papula, and Sterling K. Brown's co-stars. Through their agreement with Netflix, Lopez's production company New York and Productions is creating Atlas. There is an agreement with the streaming service that Lopez, her producing partner Elaine Goldsmith Thomas, and her manager Benny Medina have in place. In June 2021, a deal was revealed with Netflix under which the streaming service will create a slate of movies, TV shows, scripted and unscripted programming with an emphasis on supporting diverse female performers, writers and filmmakers. Lopez last appeared with Gail Garcia Bernal, Joseph Fiennes, Paul Racy and Omari Hardwick in the Nikki Caro film The Mother. Alongside Jennifer Coolidge, Darcy Carden and Josh Duhamel, she was also in Shotgun Wedding. Her next project is the movie This Is Me, Dot, Now, which releases this month and stars Trevor, Noah, and Derek Huff. This comes after Trevor Noah claimed that when Lopez contacted to ask him to appear in her film, he assumed it was a prank. The comedian, 39, is among the many well-known figures that will feature in the Hustlers star's upcoming musical, film, This, is me on Prime Video. Now a love story, which will be available on February 16th along with her brand new album of the same name. Trevor said that when he was approached to participate, he was astounded. That was a random call where your phone rings and it's Jennifer Lopez, and you're like, this must be a prank, he told People Magazine. You're like, whoa, and she wants you to come participate in her visual experience. Well, I'll join in even if I have no idea what I'm doing. Fat Cho, Kim Petras, Post Malone, Kick Palmer, Sofia Vergara, Derek Huff, and others star alongside Jennifer, her husband Ben Affleck, and Trevor in the movie. The former Daily Show host says he had a great time filming, despite not knowing what the finished product will look like. There's just a fun group of people who've gathered to celebrate an icon and somebody who has really just blazed her own trail across different genres, he remarked. It was a great time. I'm eager to find out what it is. The amusing part is that they were very private about how they accomplished it, so I don't know a lot about it. I don't know everything about it. I only know what I know about it. Like you, I'm eager to find out what it will be. The Marry Me actress shared a video clip with images from the new album in November for her 253 million Instagram followers. The opening line of the video is hear it, see it, live it, share it, in gold over green, the fortunate color of Jenny from the block. She has stated in the past that hummingbirds are among her favorite birds, and there is an image of one on the slide. Jennifer's first romance with her 51-year-old husband Ben Affleck served as the inspiration for the 2002 album. Reunited in May 2021, Ben and Jlo tied the knot in 2022. It's been rumored that her new album is about the couple's nearly two-decade journey back to one other.